Welcome to the sixth annual TAC Talks at the University of Washington Tacoma. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that we're on the traditional lands of the Puyallup people, and I want to thank them for allowing us to carry our work out on their land. My name is Johanna Jacobson Kujuman. My pronouns are she and her. I'm a reference and instruction librarian here at UW Tacoma, and I get to emcee this event for the second time. It's really fun. This year, we're part of ShareFest, hashtag UWTSharefest, um, which is a collection of events occurring across campus during the spring quarter at which UW Tacoma undergraduate and graduate students are sharing their scholarship. Pick your favorite event, attend them all, and tweet or Instagram using hashtag UWTSharefest. So I'm really happy to see this turnout. Thank you for being here, and you're in for a real treat tonight. All right, what are we all about? We are, um, we offer graduate students a way to share their big ideas. Um, we're inspired by TED Talks, TAC Talks, TED Talks, and an event called Scholars Studio held at the Research Commons at UW Seattle. And these are time talks, five minutes, we're gonna be holding our students to that, and about topics that students are passionate about. This year, we um, have a theme, Breaching Borders, and you'll see that we have presentations ranging from privacy and machine learning to destigmatizing mental illness and more. Some students are just starting in their inquiry. Others are far along in the research process. It's all part of the journey of research. We conceive this event as a way of connecting within and across our robust learning community. As such, you'll hear um, work coming from SIAS, social work, the School of Engineering and Technology, education, and the iSchool in Seattle even. We hope this event encourages you to engage on a conceptual level with the theme of breaching borders and on a personal level with the theme of connecting and creating a space of learning across research interests. Now comes a whole set of thank yous. All right, hang on. Here we go. So, campus units and people who made this event possible. The TAC Talks planning committee this year included the libraries Marissa Petrich, Megan Saunders, and myself. Margaret Lundberg, a writing consultant at the TLC, provided invaluable skill and support, especially in working with our students. Larry Knopp and Karen Daleski from MAAS were also central to the planning process, and we've got two of Larry's students here today. We'd also like to thank our sponsors and collaborating campus units. So the library, we've got our director, Lauren Presley, and our associate director, Justin Wadland, here. The TLC, the Office of Research, especially Turan Kayaolo, um, SIAS, and the UW Graduate School that contributed funds again this year to offer us a delicious snack and refreshments after the event. All right. I'm not going to go through this whole list of names, but these are mentors, advisors, program chairs, all folks who made this happen by supporting our students, um, and we thank them for that. Um, and with that, it's now my pleasure to introduce our guest speaker, Dr. Danica Miller, um, who is MAS faculty and winner of the Distinguished Teaching Award, who's going to share some thoughts for us. Thank you, Danica. Hashlachil. <laughs> You can do it too. Hashlachil. Hashlachil, Tzitzi Ab. Danica Sterud Miller, Tzitzta Spiala Ched, Carl William Sterud, C. Ab, Dabad Spiala Pesh, Carl William Sterud Sr., to Kaya, to Sapa Spiala Pesh. And Tuthal uh, Siaya Spialapesh. Um, I had this whole like talk that I wrote out, and then I decided that I wanted to change that a little bit. <laughs> so I'm not going to say anything else, even though I should have probably been reading my Lashut Seed. Um, so I was thinking about um, one of the things I've been thinking about a lot lately is uh, because I keep being asked to sort of do these, uh, to do welcomes for uh, the Puyallup community, uh, welcoming people to our land. And I think about like, what, do, what does that mean? What does it mean to welcome people to Puyallup lands? And I think that the expectation when I welcome people to, um, to, to Puyallup territory is, um, is thinking that um, I'm, I'm expecting you 
my guests to to be acting within the uh, the epistemologies, the belief systems that the Puyallup hold. Right. That's that's how we honor the indigeneity of this land. And the theme of this talk, uh, breaching borders, really speaks to that. Um, we talk a lot about how Tacoma is this urban city, right? And this is a, a meeting place. And one of the things I think that we don't talk about enough is that actually it always was. This was an indigenous meeting place. This is where the canoes would come down. This is um, this is this is right here. This was the, a Puyallup village. This was a a very diverse mix of people lived here, and uh, and when we when we talk about breaching borders. It, one of the ways we can uh, honor the Puyallup of this land is, is moving across those borders, right? So how did we do that? How did we move across borders? Um, why, why did we do so, uh, you know, pre-contact? Um, and how did we accept people from other, from other nations? Uh, the number one way we did was by trading food. And we all know that, right? Bring your food. It's the best. <laughs> but the second thing that we did was that we told our stories, right? And I think that that's one of the things that we're losing today is that, you know, we're getting caught up in our, all our own little Facebook groups. Everybody's so um, in their little corners that we don't listen to stories anymore. And by telling each other our stories, it creates this, this, um, common, uh, I hate to use the word tribalness, <laughs> but it does, right? It creates this, these communities, even when it seems like we don't have anything in common. And, um, uh, you know, we used to live in longhouses in the winter. And some of these longhouses could host up to a thousand people, which sounds awful, right? <laughs> Can you imagine living in a house with a thousand of your relatives? It's the worst. <laughs> so how, how did we get through those long winter months? Because we told stories to each other, right? All of these different peoples um, from different diverse uh, indigenous nations all living together in the winter, telling their stories and their languages and across families, across clans, that's how they did it, right? And, um, and when we're breaching borders, when we're talking about that, the best way to do it, again, besides food, is <laughs> through telling our stories. So thank you for, uh, for continuing to honor the indigeneity of this land. Hadops Chalap. Thank you so much, Danica. And um, as a folklorist, I value stories and um, like framing this event as storytelling. And these are the stories that our graduate students care about. And so I'm, I'm really delighted. Um, thank you. So really quickly, um, this is sort of the nitty gritty, just so you kind of know what you're getting into for the night. Um, we're going to be listening to eight TAC talks. One person was unfortunately not able to come today in two rounds. Everyone will be speaking for five minutes. Then we'll have a Q&A for that collective group. Um, then there'll be a second round of four speakers and another Q&A. Um, and then I want you all in the audience to be aware that you've got an important role as well, which is not only learning about what the graduate students have to share, but you get to give them feedback. And if you look at the gold cards <laughs> on the table, um, they're in order of the speakers and any notes um, the speakers for the speakers are much appreciated. You can leave them on the table when you're done. Um, we've also got purple cards on the table, which this year we have an audience favorite award that you all will be voting for. And so at the end of the second talks, turn in your card, we'll tally it up and make an announcement. Um, so please do that as well. Um, last but not least, these talks are recorded and will be available at the UW Tacoma Library's Digital Commons, which is fun for... Um, students to have a portfolio piece, right, that they could share with potential employers or if they pursue further graduate school. So we're really excited about that. So any questions before I introduce our first speaker? Are we good? All right. So.